Hello, this is William Derek Johnson with How to Keep the Fun in the Game. What makes a game fun is having a game that you yourself would want to play in. Now, this doesn't mean putting every cool thing that you think would be neat and then just showing it off. Actually running a game where if you were the player sitting opposite you, would you have a good time? If you tried your things that are listed on your character sheet, whatever they may be, would you be able to do them? Would the GM just block you indiscriminately in favour of doing his neat story? So don't do a neat story. Let the players do things. The players get to do things and they get excited about things. They get to try things. They get to experiment. They'll start poking your world with various things. And sometimes the world will poke back and smack them down hard. But it's part of the fun. The other thing is, make the world interesting. And give it some bizarre twist. So, in one way, campaigns I'm running at the moment, we're basically doing Mad Max. So, there are people zooming around chariots, because it's a fancy game. Shooting at each other and stealing things. But to make it a little more than just Mad Max with fancy races, it's also Mad Max meets the Book of Exodus. So, there is, there is a tribe of these lunatic chariot drivers running around raiding things and shooting at each other. And they are being led by a god around the wilderness. And the reason they stay with this is because the god feeds them every day. Food rains down from the sky. That was quite a surprise to the party. When venturing in, it started raining pies. And then very shortly after, it rained beer. Because after all, if you are a fantasy god, how would you feed your followers? Beer and pies, all the time. They were a bit disturbed by that, but they found it quite interesting. So yes, make it an interesting world. And that always makes it exciting, because players then want to look at it. They'll, they'll get interested, they'll get excited. They'll start poking it, they'll look into it, they'll ask you questions about this wonderful, weird thing you have created. So you make it interesting. And finally, get into a dynamic of having cool NPCs. After all, you get to play the NPCs. So if your NPCs are interesting and they're fun to play and they have interesting things they want to do and inflict on the player characters, whether they are helping them, harming them, or just coming along and saying hello, then they're more interesting. It's more exciting for you to play. So have a stable, interesting, exciting NPCs. And that's how the game is fun for me. And that is why I've probably been doing this for far too long. <laughs> Thank you. That's my response to this concert. Bye.